Yorana, Yorana ite yemhana turu. Happy Wednesday. C'est mercredi aujourd'hui. Bonjour à tous. Hello, Yorana. Hola. Muino here, CEO and co-founder of Polylingo. I would like to welcome all of you guys. Thank you so much for joining our live Reo and Ori talk. And today I have the pleasure to invite uh, a special guest. I've been very spoiled this past uh, couple days because I've been like, you know, uh, having uh, uh, to invite a lot of guests from Tahiti, France, US. I mean, it's just so awesome. So today I'm welcoming Tiana Nonosina Liu Fao. She will be my, my guest today. I'm so excited to, to spend time with her today. And uh, in the meantime, while she's joining, I would like to say welcome to everyone. Uh, Desiree, Leandra, Cyril, I, I see a lot of people. I see also some people from, from friends. Wow, that's awesome. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining today. See oh, I love it. <laughs> All right. I, I just want to remind uh, those ones who didn't have a chance to watch uh, the, I mean, to be with us live these past couple days. I've been live for every single day. So watch the replay. It's available in our page on Facebook and on Instagram or on YouTube. So if you didn't have the time, you know, to check out everything, it's available to you. Okay, all right, so let me send an invitation to Tiana. You should have it by now. I'm so excited for today. Woo, lots of stuff to talk about, especially when it comes to about the Rio, Rio Tahiti and the Ori Tahiti. These are the kind of uh, discussion we don't really, you know, um, talk about. So Tiana, I just sent you an invitation. You, all you have to do is to accept uh, the invitation from me. Okay, let's, uh, let me do it again. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, awesome. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> how, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm so sorry. I look very tired because I just landed today <laughs> back in California. I know I you you just uh, flew back from from Hawaii. I, what a what a busy schedule you have. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, oh, we lost her again. It's probably the connection. Let's see if she can, she'll come back again. <laughs> We're live, everyone, so it's normal, right? <laughs> We're live, right? It happens. Yeah. <laughs> okay, are we we're good? Yes, we're all good. Meiteirua. <laughs> Meiteirua. Maruru faririr atiana. Thank you so much for, for taking the time to be uh, participate, participating in this live because I know you're busy and you just flew. Oh, my gosh. I, I'm like <laughs> jumping right on you and say, hey, come and join me for the live. Uh, it's been crazy. But you know what? Let's make it happen. I know uh, a lot of people have been waiting for this time. Uh, and uh, I, I, I received a lot of uh, messages, you know, like, oh, when is Tiana coming? And so Me? finally it's sure? happening. Yes, it was you. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I, I love it. Anyway, so that means people are very, very interested, you know, to, to hear what you have to say. So it, it's a good thing. So uh, everyone. Help me say welcome to Tiana by uh, uh, with a like, an emoji, or whatever you want. Let's hey. welcome her with a warm heart. And uh, <laughs> by, by a simple yorana, how about that? You know, a simple yorana, that would be, that'll be amazing. Oh, yeah, I, I know plenty of these people. Yorana, e aloha. Yes, aloha from Hola. Maui. Goodness, yeah. that's awesome. From Mexico. Goodness, this is great. Mrs. Titi, is that uh, Auntie Rose? It, that's Auntie Rose. I'll be live with her tonight. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I love you, Auntie. Love you, Tati. Yes, this hey, is sis. awesome. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, everyone, if you have questions, okay, I'll do my best, you know, at the end of the session, maybe we can uh, respond to your questions. Uh, a lot of times we're always like busy with time, but 
we will do our best today. So, Maruru uh, met Eya once again, Tiana, for accepting accepting my invitation for this live. Uh, I thought it was very important to have a conversation publicly yeah, about the Rio Teiti and Ori Teiti because so many people are asking, uh, even my own students, you know, they're, they're having those conversations, but I think it was important for uh, leaders like you guys to, you know, to uh, speak uh, in front of everybody so they can hear what you have to say. So um, let me introduce Tiana really quick because I mean, what, what else can I say about Tiana? Tiana, Tiana, who doesn't know Tiana? <laughs> I've, been, I've been very spoiled uh, for having her today. Uh, to me, Tiana is, uh, is a true artist with multiple talents. Uh, she's a drummer, uh, an exceptional drummer, uh, a musician, <laughs> oritati dancer, uh, musician, I see musician already, author, songwriter, uh, Ra'atira, for the ones who don't know what Ra'atira means, it means group leader, um, a judge, oh my gosh, a judge here in the United States, but not only here in the United States, outside of the United States, and even in Tahiti. Oh my yeah, goodness, she's that's, everywhere. Yeah, that's my, that's like the biggest honor right there. <laughs> yeah. Even in Tahiti. So, and on top of that, she's also a cultural consultant. Everyone, she did her homework. Uh, she deserves to be here because she had worked so hard. She came a long way. And I, I want to start this uh, conversation, Tiana, by uh, asking you if you can share a little bit with all of us your journey as mm. a, I want to call you a Polynesian perpetuator, because this is basically what you're doing <laughs> with all your talents. And I want you to share a little bit about your journey with us. First of all, thank you for having me. Um, it's an honor for you to even ask me. For those of you who don't know, and uh, I'm pretty sure they do because I speak about it very freely and openly, but I am a student of, of Moinau. Um, so I, I am an actual product of polylingual as well. So um, that journey has uh, been with you. So I just start off since I'm here with you, Moinau, is mm -hmm. um, talking about my journey as uh, a I don't know what you want to call it, um, Polynesian creative. Um, since we're here on polylingual, um, I've always been interested in language, period. Um, I would always get in trouble actually growing up because <laughs> I'm born and raised here in Southern California. If you have never been here, we are the melting pot. Um, <laughs> so I'm surrounded by all different types of um, cultures, um, food ways, uh, textiles, protocols, um, uh, you name it. So I, I think I developed an appreciation for language because I figured out at a young age <clears throat> that that's what connected, that was our identity. Um, I, sh I should start off that um, I think I'm, I am very um, mixed as a Polynesian. Yes. Um, I am Samoan, um, I am Tongan, and I am Hawaiian. Um, and I share this with Moino. Um, I was born into um, a, a legacy that was um, started actually beyond my grandma. Everyone knows my grandma, Stella Momosina Reed, um, from Palengu, American Samoa. Um, actually, my great grandparents, and especially my Hawaiian side, dates back. They were all, I'm going to actually use this word, they were actually entertainers, mm. um, which I don't necessarily um, deem myself as that, um, I, to some extent. But um, I come from a long line of entertainers, musicians, dancers, um, um, artists. So I think it was very innate. And um, I was brought into a world where I, along with a lot of people that are logging on right now, I wasn't born and raised on the Fenua or on the, mm. the Aina or on the Fanua. <laughs> I wasn't. I actually was uh, born and raised here in California. Very blessed though my whole life to travel back and forth to two places, <laughs> um, Oahu <laughs> and uh, Tahiti. Um, so that kept me always wanting to learn more. Um, I had one foot in Polynesia, one foot out of Polynesia, but at the end of the day, no matter where my foot lands, I'm always Polynesian. So I think it's easy to lose that when you're here on, on um, 
Um, I, don't, I actually don't want to use the word mainland. I learned that from my other half, Mika. Um, <laughs> here on the continent. Um, yes. But I was surrounded with this home that was created for a lot of people who never had a home. And that place is called Norosina. Um, that paved my way to learn instruments, uh, drumming, um, dance. Um, so, uh, and I share this with you more now, when I hear someone music, someone language, it makes me proud. When I mm -hmm. hear Tongan language, Tongan music, it makes me very like joyful. When I hear Hawaiian language, Hawaiian music or Oli chanting, it makes me very humble. Mm. Um, and this goes from when I was um, like, since I can remember, when I hear Reo Teiti, when I hear the Himene, when I hear, when I see Ori Teiti, this actually for me feels my, um, uh, oh, I was going to use the Hawaiian mm. word, na oh. <laughs> yeah. but it's, it's, it's the same concept. Yes. Um, but it fills my uh oh. And so I think with all of these things that kind of orbit around me, um, I really, really I I'm a I'm a dance teacher, so I'm using all I'm using all these emotions. I feel <laughs> with all these things around me, I, I'm always constantly seeking the mana of all of these different elements. And I think that's maybe why you might have been because you know me so well, you and yes. Steve Maybe that's why I use the word Polynesian perpetuator. Um, I am noted as a choreographer a lot and as a, a musician. Um, but at the end of the day, my lifelong goal is to be a, um, um, a Polynesian creative, but also a practitioner. And that's like my, my longer goal. And what does, what's the difference is instead of always um, performing culture, um, my lifelong goal is to practice culture and oh, what better way to do this than with starting with language oh my gosh I love this I really like this concept and yes I remember you told me about it you know like whatever you feel you know we're, it's so funny because with all the guests I have been had on the live so far we're all, we're all talking about feeling you know how to mm. feel the language how to feel the culture we forget about all this and but but that's like going really deep down right and i love that you're trying to to feel that in each like each like different culture and and i think it's just beautiful i i just love it thank you so much tiana and yes you are a polynesian perpetuator because it is you're touching everything and i i i envy you sometimes for having all that connection that's so awesome to be tongan and and hawaiian and and someone i mean I'm, I'm only I'm only Tahitian and French. <laughs> I only have those two, but uh, I because I love also the the Polynesian culture. So I I am a passionate of that. So I love that uh, that connection that we have. Yes. And I am you inspired me also personally to seek other uh, culture also. And this is what actually Steve and I are planning to do next year. Uh, we're planning to uh, join Legafa uh, next year because we want to learn other. Yeah, we want to learn other uh, culture as well, so we can also understand ourselves. Because we came from the, you know, according to history, we came from the same, the same birthplace. Oh, and definitely. So, yeah, so I think it's it's our duty to do that, you know, to understand other cultures as well. Yeah, definitely. And can I share something? Okay, first of all, Lengofa. I am also a student of Lengofa. One of my diplomas are there. So shout out yeah. to my Lengofa family. Um, but um, I like to think of, you know, the different Polynesian, because we understand the notion of Ma'o. Yeah, yes. like we do come from the same place, but I love this word. I shared it with you before, but like, um, or comparing that to weaving of a... a a heipo or a lei or um, even the word heiva. I always think of heiva as right. like a weaving together of time and space, but of all of our ancestors. So when we come together for the heiva, it's, it's more than just, you know, like a event. It's man, we're coming with all of our ancestors. We're standing on their shoulders and we're sharing this time and this space through all the different ways that we have 
at the, and when I say Heva, when I say Heva, I'm only talking about one Heva, <laughs> <laughs> the Heva Iteti. Um, yes. But just that concept and then that word, um, when we wear a lei, we wear a hey, uh, it, to me, it's exactly that. It's weaving all of these things. Yeah, together. it's the connection, I, the link, the link, yeah. the connection. Yeah. yeah. And that's what hey means, right? And then va yeah. for the space. So yeah, that's that's exactly that. Oh my gosh, I I, I love the way you you understand, you know, this uh, the the concept of the heva. This is amazing, Tiana. I want to I want to take you back to Tahiti now, and Ooh, um, please do. So, <laughs> <laughs> I want you to share with me your experience. Uh, your actually you your group Nono Sina went oh. to in Tahiti in 2019 before the pandemic. <laughs> Uh, and I wanted you to share a little bit your experience uh, in that journey you had with your group. I know it's it wasn't the first time, but uh, what is your your last uh, ex like memory of your experience when you went to Tahiti with the Ooh. people of Tahiti? <clears throat> um, whether it was 2019 or the first time Nonosina came to Tahiti as a group for Toata, which was 2000. Or yes. 2001. 2000. Yeah, 2000. I don't remember. It's been so long now. Circa 2000. Um, <laughs> um, <clears throat> it's, it's, there's almost no words to describe this. And a, a lot of times I get really emotional too because you think of <clears throat> just making that pilgrimage back to Haiti um, as a, I know it's not the most. <laughs> Hi, mom. Um, I know it's not the most feasible for everyone. I, I get it. Um, but it is one of the most important things that we need to do as group leaders is take our students back to the, the source. Mm. Um, just being with Haitian people, for me, I don't need validation from um, anywhere else, um, to be very honest with you, and I'm sorry if I offend anyone, but from the people in Tahiti. And not just the people, when I say people, I mean even like the elements. When I, I mean the, the people at the forefront of, right. you know, what we know as or and what that encompasses. I use that word uh, loosely, those words loosely, but like, you know, when yeah, I'm yeah, talking yeah. about um, the medium of, through the medium of dance, it's so important because nowhere in this world do you ever do an orero and you're like, Um, I was going to say kura ora. Um, yeah, kura ora. yeah. You say kura ora or you're like yaurana and then people reply back. <laughs> right, right. You know? Only us, in Tahiti. Only yeah. in Tahiti. Oh, hey, and only in Tahiti too. Like, you know, so, and I love it too. This is Polynesian sense of humor. You know, something funny happens. I'm like, ah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're the first to that. But those are those, those, um, those um, memories and experiences that you cannot... Uh, I can't like, even explain it. That's why yeah. I always try to take my group back to Tahiti. And I say my, but I mean, my brother led the group before me and took the group back. My mom has always led the group. Graham has always, you know, been there. So it's important because if, if us being here in, I'm in California, um, if this is all where, this is what we do every day. And this is like, for a lot of us, it's our livelihood. But are we doing our due diligence, not just to do a show there, but what if we're creating here, can we bring it to Tahiti in front of the local people, you know, in, yes. in, like, in front of all the, you know, the Maui people, the local people, the practitioners, the group leaders, the Heva judges, can we, you know, really, really um, bring it, I'm not saying it has to be perfect, but that should always be the goal. Um, yes not always competing, but even sharing, like we've done a bunch of nonprofit shows, donations, um, go dance at the Marche or the Matete, sorry. <laughs> um, <Yes. laughs> you know, Vaitupa, um, all these different places, um, cultural exchanges we did with Keho, um, uh, uh, Arotoa. Um, those are the things, those are the unspoken things that you cannot teach verbally. You have yes. to feel it organically, which is only going to come from the Fenua. Yes. Oh, I love these guys. Listen to this. That's good advice. Always take your your group, your group or yourself or whoever you want back yeah, to the source so you. you can experience that, right? 
Yeah, and that's one thing that you said. And by the way, you can um, consult with one on how to get there and what to do. <laughs> um, like, uh, I know growing up, speaking for myself and my brother, we would always go, even when there's, it's awesome to go for Heiva, and now for Huratapairu, and now Ori Triti, Nui World Championship. But it would be, especially for my group leaders, it would be, if you haven't already, go when there's no dance event, <laughs> you know? Yeah, um, that's a good idea, too. Yeah, and even if you meet, like, um, you know, friends that become, like, family, you know, just spending time with them. I've been to so many, you know, weddings and baptisms. Um, <laughs> when I became a, a godmother, actually, uh, with um, Tekura, was in Tahiti. Man, I learned so much. I was like, I'm usually here for dance events, but now I'm here at a church. <laughs> um, <laughs> Which, I, yeah, that, that was a different experience and becoming a godmother. But then there's, it's intertwined with a lot of Tahitian stuff. So little things like that, I think, are um, really valuable. And yeah, I'm not going to do a dance about this. I'm not going to write an aparima or te about this. But just interacting with local people, their mannerisms, their, their sense of humor, you know, just little things that they do. Actually, for me, it helps when I create when I create uh, music or dance. And I think that might be overlooked uh, oftentimes, I, I feel. I, that, that's really good because basically it's, it's, to ha it's to take the time to understand, eh? understand the people, understand the way of life, their lifestyle. It's important because it's really taking you like a step, a step uh, over outside of the Oditeti bubble you have and, to. Uh, yeah, yeah it, it's good. I, lo I love that. It, it, it's important, it's important. Uh, and, I, and and it goes with any other uh, Polynesian culture as well. Like for me as Tahitian, I like I we just went to Hawaii in July, and I spent a day with Mika. I didn't want to leave her anymore <laughs> because she saw she was able to show us another side of Hawaii. And and my gosh, I fell in love like boom instantly because I saw something else. And uh, and this is basically what you're suggesting. Do yeah. the same for Tahiti as well, right? So I love it. Okay, now, about your experience, okay, for, like, going pretty much everywhere in the world, in Tahiti, in the, in the U.S., whatever, everywhere, uh, what have you seen, let's talk about Reo now, what mm. have you seen in the use of the Reo Tahiti in the Ori Tahiti? What have you seen so far? So I'm going to talk about that outside of Tahiti, if that's okay with you. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, what have I seen? Um, I've seen a lot of, man, great efforts. Um, but I'm going to be completely honest with you. Because um, uh, I do often see Ori Peiti through the lens of a judge. So I'm, I'm you know, I get to watch the presentations. Um, and am, am I going off track? Or, yeah, no, uh, that's, like, okay. that's, that's pretty much what I'm asking, yeah. Um, what I see a lot and, um, uh, I don't know, this might ruffle some feathers, American expression right there. Um, <laughs> but I actually, what I see a lot is not a lot of Reo mm, okay. okay. I see that, that that's what I see in the past, to be completely honest with you. I see a lot of, um, Ote'a which is amazing because I, I, I'm a, a drummer, um, not necessarily singer. I don't have an album. You know. <laughs> My brother's the singer. <laughs> but I, I, I see a lot of otea and a lot of technique and a lot of farapu, but then I see a little bit of shying away from um, orero or shying away of aparima. Um, and to me, that uh, I think it can be very dangerous if it happens in Tahiti, I feel like it's different. But if it happens outside of uh, Tahiti, of Tahiti. It's, it's almost a little past because we can, uh, we can, I have a poke over right here. I can be like, and make a whole dance about it, but there's no words. Yes, there can be emotions for it, but is there a text that supports it that yeah, should yeah. actually come first? Um, and I know this from a judge's point of view because I get the fact sheets or I don't get the fact sheets. And that's how I know. <laughs> so if there's no um, substance which comes in form of text or tumpro, then even if it's an otea, for a judge, I want, a, I need to have a tumpro. 
How did you come up with that pig? Yeah. How did you come up with emotions? Even if it's a paragraph, two sentences. And um, that's one thing that I really noticed um, traveling, you know, around the world. Um, and I can sit here and say the amazing things because there's actually a lot more amazing things. But I think people that are logging on where it's teetering to like around 60 or so. I think that, you know, for we logged on, we, we want to hear at least my honest opinion. So, <laughs> um, and this, I hold myself accountable too. So, you know, I would never say this and not simultaneously be trying to work on this. Right. Um, I just feel like we need to have more um, orero and something. Um, who said this? Ah, Vera. Vera, I was watching her. I was, in, I was on Oahu and I was listening to her interview. And, you know, she's right, like, at a lot of, um, at a lot of uh, competitions, we use uh, English words first and foremost, but it really doesn't hurt to add in, you know, like, like, literally, it's, what is it to wish everyone life at a Tahitian competition? Yaurama. Yes. I mean, yeah. at least that, you know. <laughs> yeah, so at least that. And, and, you know, if there's, there are a lot of Hawaiian words that are used. Um, and, uh, um, uh, if you're on Oahu or if you're, uh, if you're in Hawaii, my bad, um, I think there is, you know, like, you know, you, you I judge on, um, uh, Hawaii on Mokuo Keawe, on what we call Big Island and they greet everyone, Yarana, and then actually the, um, the produce, not the producer, um, the MC, the, the, the coordinator, she Ola, she Hawaii. So she she'll greet everyone in in Tahitian, you know, like just you know just yaurana, and then she'll go into Olalo Hawaii to to kind of like bring everyone in. But it makes sense because we are on that island, on that land. Yeah. But but it, but there, you know, we like when we come here. Yes, a lot of people call us Kumu, and um, I've been referred to Kumu plenty of times, and I don't correct. That's not. I, I feel bad saying that, but I do like. Oh, actually, you know, we can offer you so many other words. Yeah. You know, even the most general orometua, or you can even just call me Tiyama. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's there's a bunch of uh, grabbing different words and whatnot. But I think it wouldn't hurt to try. Um, it does more damage when we don't try. Even if you say it wrong, like you say, you, you know, you slip up on words. The fact that you're trying, that's step one. So I, I jack up words all the time. So. You know, yeah, I, I love that you say that trying it, it's already a, a big step. Uh, I know people are always afraid because they're like, oh, I, I'm mm. afraid to mess it up. I'm afraid to not saying the right thing. Um, and it's funny because even maybe not say it about that. Like I, 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 he said, he said, I sang so many songs and it wasn't even the right way of singing the right pronunciation, but it's out there. But now I know we learn, that it's yeah. not supposed to be like that. And I say, you know what? We learn by our mistakes, right? So it's okay. It's normal, right? It's part of the process. But I think trying, you know, make an effort, yeah. you know, to at least implement, even if it's just small words, that would be ideal. So yeah, I get it. <laughs> That's totally right. That, uh, that would be, we all start from somewhere. Huh? So exactly. Um, but you know, since this, um, since you have launched your program, um, you know, it's really cool. We're now a, a lot of really important people are logging right now. So aloha and yaurana, everybody. Um, <laughs> um, uh, since you've launched Polylingual, though, I know people personally from all over, um, whether uh, I've judged a uh, competition of theirs or taught workshops or just know them through the dance community. Man, um, I even, they'll tag me or they wreck me in Reo Tehiti. And it could be something so simple, yes. you know, or even just something, hey, and yes. something like this. And I've known them for years, and I know they struggled for even saying the word ora, <laughs> ora or, and now they're, they're, you know, a lot more Complete active. comfortable, yeah. Yeah, and they're all students of yours. So it's now that we have resources for those of us, um, you know, language lovers, um, that should be, I'm not even going to say dance lovers, because if you're a dance lover, you should be a language lover already. You have a different manifestation of language yeah. through your body, but it has to be accompanied by language. So um, now we have resources, like this amazing ebook that just came out. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, the ebook actually the ebook it was chosen it was requested by students. They were the one who asked for it. It didn't even come, the idea didn't come from me, but uh, I thank you Tiana because of you we were able to make it happen. Uh, like I say, I was able to bring the language, but I couldn't think as a Tahitian dan uh, an Oriteti dancer or an Oriteti leader like you. I couldn't because I, I, that's not who I am. I don't know. But it was important to do that work with you. And I'm so glad we did it because now, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's been a success because so many people are getting the ebook because I think they are conscious uh, about the importance of having that. Enough that we have that. Yeah. That's why I'm saying to everybody, okay, you have it. Now make it happen though now. Yeah. <laughs> make yeah. it happen. Let's like start you say, practicing you... one word at a time. Right. One word at a time. And you said that in the uh, confirmation in the email, don't bombard yourself one, you know, one thing at a, at a time. And I knew about this project probably before most of you on this live. <laughs> yes. And yeah, you can't bombard yourself. Cause I think I try to memorize like every single thing. It's impossible. I, even yeah. me myself, I couldn't like, I I'm teaching language. I can't even do my, I have a terrible memory. Uh, so I, I have to start like one thing at a time and yeah. eventually it will come natural. You have to give yourself some grace because it, it's hard. Language is not that easy. So one thing at but a time. Same thing like dance though, right? Um, yeah. and I know everybody want to learn to Pauti and Fa'arapu, but no, let's, let's work on your feet position first. <laughs> yes, I know. And, you know, one of the analogy that I love to use when I connect the Rio Teti and Ori Teti is that actually I learned from you too in Anuno Sina Studio when I, you were teaching the kids um, by, you know, like mastering the Farapu for the ones who don't know what it is. And here I am saying what it is. <laughs> I'm not even a teacher <laughs> of dance, but it's basically making a circle with your hips. I'm saying like super like, basically here uh, but what i learned is that you have to like master with the ami uh, movement by doing like super slow super slow until your your body is like learning how to master that movement and then eventually speed it up so um and with my daughter muhiti who's dance uh, no sina where she's doing that practice at home and i was like you know what it's like language you can't go straight to the farapu. You have to master like so many things with your own body before getting there. So the idea yeah. with the language is one word at a time or one sentence at a time. And then eventually you can increase and it goes with the pronunciation as well. So it's possible. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> and even with language in dance, I know we've talked about this before. A lot of us have different, and I know a lot of you guys that um, are logged on, you can agree, we've talked about this plenty, um, was we have like so many different terms for one step, yes. um, you know, for one step. And um, I think a lot of people have asked me about this. The best thing to do is to learn all the terminologies, I guess. And then you, you know, if you were taught one way, by all means, Go ahead and do it. But the main thing is that it's in Tahitian. <laughs> Cause I've heard yeah. a bunch of different, I've heard a bunch of different uh, um, basic step. You know, back in the day too, I remember like, you know, everyone using different terms for the Tahitian basics. And of course we have the, I have it here somewhere, the, the book that, you know, that came out from Tahiti. And, you know, some terms we're all familiar with, some not so much, but Either way, I think uh, a lot of Oriteti people, they spend too much time trying to say, oh, this is the right way, this is the wrong way. But yes. In all honesty, like the way Mako Foster, who's like a master, the way the term she uses for her steps isn't always going to be the same exact that, you know, my favorite creative Keho Shanki uses. They're not wrong. Yeah. A lot of a lot of Keho steps, she's so creative, she, she's able to create her own term for this step, but there's so much mana, there's so much um, behind it, you know? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's, it's well thought out. It's not just throwing it out there. Uh, yeah, yeah it's true. All. It's true. Like, uh, this is where uh, Tahiti is, still has a lot of improvement to do because we still have a lack of, um, uh, I mean, I kind of like, honestly, I'm not a, 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 an Oriteti dancer or, or, or teacher, but I kind of like that variety as long as it's mm. like, uh, 
uh, proved, you know, or explained correctly why this word right. was chosen for this and that. But I think for the outside world, it's good to have to, at, at this moment, at this time, I think it's good to have an open mind mm -hmm. and then go with the flow because every teacher is different. And uh, just take totally. it, grab it, and then see yeah. how, how you can use that information for yourself. What resonates with you? And, you know, it's always good for those of us based outside of uh, Paiti. Um, you know, it's good to, I'm not saying like, go just make friends so you can drop names. <laughs> That's a different topic. Just kidding, everyone. <laughs> um, but, you know, to have and build relationships organically, you know what I mean? Um, with someone that you build a relationship with that can almost become, you know, like a confidant or like even a mentor. Um, and I'm saying this because I'm, I'm uh, really close with Keho and you know, if I have questions or I, you know, I, I, I want to know what's going on in Tahiti, you know what I mean? Yes, with yeah. different dance projects or, you know, things like that. And I'm able to, you know, reach out. Okay. Now I'm not telling you all to go, please go write her. She's a busy woman. Huh? But, um, <laughs> she but, is. You know, yeah. Or even, you know, you guys have friends that dance in Tahiti, you know, not to suck information from them, but to share like, hey, yeah. growing up, we called this ami, but I noticed you use a different word. What is yeah. this word? Tu mami. Oh, okay. You know? Yes. Oh, what's the difference between, you know, and we're not going to talk about that because we're not here to explain how to do steps or the term, <laughs> but you know what's the difference between this and this step, you know, that looks the same, but different words. Um, but, you know, the, the great thing is that it's in Rio Tahiti. And then, you know, you, you kind of go from there. Then you go talk to the linguist. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I, I love this idea, uh, uh, Tiana. Already you're saying so, so far, what all the advice you, you have uh, given here is to connect, you know, with the people, even if it's outside of the bubble of the auditati, but also to build relationship with people. Um, mm. and, and, and not not like in a business mindset, but in more more like organically, right? Organically, you know. Just having that that share, that that uh, conversation or that exchange, yeah. you know, with with the people yeah. of Tahiti, that would be amazing. And these are local people. Every local people you go to, no matter what island you go to, man, they will literally that hospitality. That's why when most of us leave Tahiti or you know any island in Polynesia, we're <laughs> we're we're emotional. We're in tears. This hospitality is genuine. It's organic. And it's ancestral. It's it's more than like oh they were just really nice to me and we we shared food. Um, it's it's really I don't know. I'm yeah. just thinking of all the people I've ever you know met and become you know my family from Tahiti. Never forget those things. And and um, I, a lot of people are commenting because they're saying like organically. And you're right. Well, no, it's it's not a don't think of a business move. Uh, that's a hard thing in what we do because we are there's the word culture involved, which is already yeah. a, a controversial word in what we do. But then also it's, it's, um, you know, for a lot of people, it's, it's, some might see it purely as business and yes. I'm not here to say who is who. <laughs> I don't care if you know me, I concentrate on my own actions. Yes. Um, I love that. What I feel <laughs> in my own uh -oh, and the people who I answer to, and my students, I can't change the world, but you know where I start is my my group. So um, just, you know, go with open mind, open heart, open arms, and your uh oh will be filled. And if you go and you don't meet one person, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, just go to the marketplace, support, you know, like just sit, watch, observe, go get lost in nature. Yeah. Like, yeah. It doesn't matter who you meet or what practice you go to. People tell me this all the time. Oh my gosh, I went to so and so's practice. Oh my god, you know, and that's awesome. But I'm like, what else did you do? <laughs> Actually, I'm not gonna lie. I go, to, I go to all the practices too. But my most memorable things have been not necessarily physically dancing or physically drumming. It's the the journey, not the discovery. I feel like. I love this. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Um, Tiana, I want to talk about, um, since you're talking about your group earlier, let's say you start with mm. your group, I don't know, Sina, and I have, mm. I, I'm, I'm so lucky I had the privilege to witness, you know, everything that you guys are doing because my daughter is dancing with you guys. This is amazing. Um, so I, I want to tell the world here, whoever is watching right now and whoever is going to watch after the replay, I want to say that uh, at Nono Sina, the way they, they do, and this is what I, I, I really appreciate so much, is that 
Diana actually take the time with her students. Now, we, we all know they all go to, to class for, to learn the auditative, to dance, right? It's a, it's a dance class. But what I, I, I appreciate with Tiana, and I'm, I'm so in admiration with the way she teaches, is that she takes the time to sit down with her student and talk about culture. Talk about culture, talk about language, talk about story, whatever it is. And I think this is genius for for taking the time even if it's not it's not the entire session for for goodness sakes people are not coming to have a, a cultural workshop but she will take like five minutes or I don't know whatever the time requires her to do so to have that conversation with her student and a lot of times it's one thing that I'm not sure if you you realize that but Tiana I, I observed that very well is you, a lot of times you even ask your student to repeat after you it's like you make them practicing the language. Oh my gosh, this is just the best thing I've ever seen here outside of Tahiti. And I think that's amazing. And to me, I think everybody should take, take example as that, uh, this way of teaching for taking the time. So I wanted to ask you if you could mm -hmm. share, I, and I know I already yeah. spilled the beans by saying that <laughs> this is something that I, I love it so much. And I talk about that to everybody around me. Uh, I wanted you to share with everybody, like, what, what are the advice you can give uh, on, on how you can implement the, the, the language or the, the uh, culture, like, you know, like you do in class? What will be your advice? Um, just do it. <laughs> um, meaning um, it can be something uh, so, you know, Simple, okay, example, um, it, the, these kids are gonna say it exactly the way you say it for the teachers. So if you know it's supposed to be, even the dancer's names, I try to say their name, even if the name is Maria. I'm not gonna water it down and say Maria, if I know it's supposed to be Maria. And people laugh at me, but I don't care because you still come to class. So <laughs> um, but if you know it's supposed to be said, to Eric. You know, you know, it's supposed to be, say, um, mm. your students are going to copy you. So you, if you say it right in class, we, gone are the days where we say, oh, go, go grab your sarong. Oh, go grab your, you know, X, Y, and Z. It's called a paru. So let's call it a paru. And if you know the R's are supposed to be rolled, roll it. If you, mm. if you know that it's, it's not your rana. You know, um, <laughs> you know, um, then, you know, try, try to, to implement it, start with words. And then for teachers, um, you know, I'm not fluent. I'm not fluent. Um, like this interview and the way it's flowing, I couldn't do this in any other language than um, English, the way it's flowing. But, you know, for dance, if you know the word is supposed to be pronounced, ta irita mo, say it, you know, ato, owi. Mm. You know, if if it's supposed to be said like that, we then we don't water down. And now I think I'm getting into an uh, like pronouncing of the words. But if we take the time to exemplify that to our students and say it right, it starts to you know like my heart starts beating when I hear the kids. Uh, you you know our chat uh, actually Hidemwana wrote for us. My kids walk around and the parents tag me so much as the fetu you know like they. <laughs> it's so like, cute like, it's so cute yeah but, but see the, the, the t's and the r's and yes. you can hear the ethos you know the thought of us we got to work on myself as well but um it all starts from the teachers so if every single word you can say to your students in tahitian say it but of course you know you can't be like Ato. you have to <laughs> you you dance it yourself you know this is my right everyone so then you know you would do a motion right. you right. know even paoti for my boys know it's pa'oti, it's the step, but they also know it's just a fun fact. Like, okay, what is, what is it also? That's the step. What does that also mean? They all know because like this, uh, like scissors, you know? So you have to do, I think, like a, a physical kind of, with kids I'm talking about. Huh? Yes, Adults, yes. no excuses. Just remember it. Um, <laughs> but if you do it, you got to just like basically like walk the walk, you know? You can't expect them to say it. And then you be slipping up. Sorry, that was ghetto. I, I'm back <laughs> in LA. 
I said, then you be, you be tripping. Um, <laughs> they, they follow your lead. So whatever you say, how you say it, your mannerisms, they're going to follow you. So, but also we're really lucky because we know we have you, we have Steve mm -hmm. that come in, we have um, Matatini that comes in and Keho. So we have people that speak Tahitian and my dancers are really used to hearing it. They're, they're really, they're really blessed. We have a lot of people come in and out from, from when we do Ori Tahiti from Tahiti. My, my family is mainly all from Samoa. So when we, teach when my cousin Kwenyi and them teach Siva Samoa they're you yeah. know they're saying it the way it's supposed to be said when Mika teaches hula oh man she will especially hula which is amazing because there's no dance without the words oh yeah she'll, she'll she'll make sure like oh no I didn't hear the okina you know oh no no there's you know <laughs> you actually said something totally different because you didn't elongate that vowel you know <laughs> things like that if we are consistent for the teachers in lessons every day then they follow then your dancers know no different so yeah no so yep. everyone that's good advice here and, and so it means that group leaders group teachers oriteti leaders teachers leaders whatever um <laughs> you have that responsibility you know i mean right. if you're at that position uh hello you have to step up <laughs> step it up and and um you have to have that responsibility to to go a little bit more deeper because you the dancers to. will follow you. Mm. Will and follow that's our you. that's our job, you know. That's our yeah. job. We can never stop learning and implementing and researching, but also letting it sit and then and then sharing it. So if not, then I don't know, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then and then. Odi Teji dancers, your job is to make it happen. <laughs> follow yeah. your leaders. Follow your leaders. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Thank you so much, Tiana. That's that's so. Ah, there's there's so much um, wisdom here. Um, what what will be your your words of encouragement? You know, to the entire Odi Teji community uh, living outside of Tahiti. Uh, mm. What would you tell them? Group, to group leaders or dancers, whatever. Man. What would be your words of, of encouragement or wisdom or advice? What would you say? Um, if you have to resume that in, in I don't know, in one paragraph. Oh, <laughs> there's so much. Um, um, you're, there's a couple things I want to share and I'll make it quick. Um, your, your intent, your intent needs to be pure mm -hmm. in what we do. This is something so fragile. This is Polynesian culture. This is, you know, comes with protocol, language. Um, this is ancestral, you know, knowledge, movements, methods. We have to like super nurture that. And it all starts with your intent. If you have pure intent, then, then you know, things will fall into place. Um, perspective, that's one thing I have learned, especially being a Polynesian outside of Polynesia. Um, uh, is, is perspective is you, you, I think a lot of us are so, um, we want to create, we want to be, you know, do the new step. We want to have the fastest for Arapu, but you know where all that's going to start is your perspective. And I learned that the hard way, to be honest with you, um, mm -hmm. to be transparent is you, you, you have to, instead of being obsessed with creation, you should be obsessed with foundation. Mm. So that's, that's one thing for, I, I think we should, you don't always have to look forward. If you're rooted, if your feet are rooted, like the, the roots of a tree, your trunk will be nice and firm. Your, the leaves will grow, the fruit will grow, the flowers will blossom. That comes later. Um, and then I think um, for everyone also, just, just remember that at the, at the end of the day, I've always been big on this. Um, no matter what Polynesia art form you do um, outside of Polynesia, you always have to give back. And whatever that means to you, I can't tell you what that means. You always have to give back. You, you have to remember when I'm over here teaching on this ghetto street, Lincoln and Grand <laughs> and Anaheim, every word that we're saying in Tahitian or if we're saying in Samoan or in Hawaiian, it goes out, it goes out into the universe beyond those walls. That mama goes back to the island. If you love this island the way you say you do, then really try to say the word correct. Really try to execute the step. Yeah. Sing with everything you have. Try your best to stay updated on what's going on, current events there, um, language. 
And then, um, man, there, there's so much. There's, there's so much, so much to say. Yes. Um, I know, and I'm sorry if. if no, no, if we, we still like, have time. Mm, we still have time. Um, um, I think to um, with you know perspective, intent, um, giving back, and um, of course, you know, it all starts with language. I've started my language journey um, more in depth with you with. Um, with polylingual and by the and way also, i'm proud of you uh, tiana for that i have to cut you on this because you came a long way uh i mean it's it's incredible i just have so much admiration of you for investing yourself and taking the step to just like dive deep into it and you know what that's what makes you a great teacher that's what makes you the greatest it really is because you you're focusing on that foundation that you're saying and it's funny because even Keho talked about that yesterday, like oh, starting with the foundation, then mm. creativity comes after. Oh, it comes she's way the, after. She's the best for this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah, know. that's 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 true. I'm starting. You know, it's never too late, everyone, um, to start any journey whatsoever. Um, after my grandma had um, transitioned to the realm of our ancestors, I. She, I made a pact to myself, like, hey, you got to work on your Samoan, you know, you're going on a Samoan. So, you know, start started that as well. And, um, and I think just, um, man, just, I don't know, there, there's so much that I, I could say, it's just, we can never forget, the, you know, the, the, the land of not just Oriteiti, but since we are talking about this, but Everything that we do, it's easy to be misled. And I've been blessed with so many opportunities. But if you really know me, I will always uplift and, and push and praise Tahiti. And I don't associate that with just people, with the elements, with the, with, you know, the, the people who paved the way, you know. Um, it's easy to forget that, especially out here. You know, but with everything that I've done, you know, a lot of the accolades, you know, a lot of opportunities that I've had, here, especially here in L.A., none compares to to when I get to do things on, you know, in Tahiti. And it's not just the Heiva Tahiti. That feeling, though, is, is a rush, but it's, <laughs> it's just being there. Um, and I think everyone you've interviewed has said the same thing, is mm -hmm. uh, being there, interacting with people. And honestly, you don't always have to interact with people because the first, and that was my 2013 show, the first dancers were, uh, were not people, they were the elements. So be there with the elements. And, and I really do have to acknowledge um, Mahi Alani Mika because mm -hmm. um, we talk about this nonstop. And for those of you who don't know, um, she is um, well-versed and she's a po'e hula. She's a hula, um, you know, she's born and raised, you know, in the island and on Oahu. And she has dedicated her whole life to hula and her journey too. I can't wait for hers to completely start. We talk about this all the time, though, with Hula and with Oripeiti. Mm. There's a lot of similarities. There's a lot of differences. And um, I really like talking to people like you, Moino, to people like you. I'm going to mention people in our circle. Um, Mika talking to Keho, and she's here talking to, um, you know, at the studio. We have Tishan people there at the studio of Ehere, um, to people that were born and raised on the island because actually there's so much. Your perspective is actually very different from mine. I was born and raised in a city. <laughs> you know, I, look, look, I said that and I have a, a, a <laughs> no keys. Like, it's, it's important to, to talk story, not even about like, oh, what do you think about dance? But just the way people, like my, the way my grandma words things, my dad too, his expressions, that, you know, when, when they talk about home, you know, like you grew up, Moino, with, you passed, uh, you know where Orohena is, you know where yes. it's at. Your, your family's from- That's our home. From Tapu Tapu you can, you can grab from things. Me, a lot of times I have to go and visit and then I have to sit there and like, and then a lot of times, you know, based off of memories and like imagination and not let it get too far away from the, the, the authenticity. So I love talking story with local people because- you know, just, just little things like that. It's, it's, it's very valuable. For those of us who are not born and raised, um, it's, it's not a bad thing. I feel like I'm, because not a lot of people are logging on from, from outside of Tahiti. Uh, I used to be growing up, hey, 
I spent a lot of time in Laie. Man, I want to go Kuhuku. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> all my cousins went there. Because I go there and I'm like, hey, I fit in. I look like everyone. But then when I open my mouth and then they're like, oh, you're from the mainland, huh? Like, you know, these little <laughs> things are like, yo, what's up? You know, whatever. And then when I'm here too, just, I, it's always one foot in, one foot out. And I think yes. when Hiti and Nanihi, they, they will, they will <laughs> feel that as well. But <laughs> if you embrace that, I, I always would tell my grandma when I was young, you know, Graham, I'm not really mad anymore because <laughs> I was like, I, why wasn't I born in Samoa? <laughs> but I'm not really mad anymore because I feel like the va'a that went all throughout the triangle, yeah, from a Hawaii, Rapa Nui, all yes. through and everywhere in that triangle, I feel like the va'a still set sail and went all over. All and that's over. why I ended up here in Anacrime, California. <laughs> <laughs> but we 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 have to stay hungry to seek that mama still and we have to to still you know go back and we have to you know make sure that we we have to try harder honestly i feel like i have to try really hard because i'm from here but i don't see it as a bad thing because a lot of the way that i create as well is i do have a different like beat and a little different swag and i've learned the hard way because i've created some things where i look back now and i'm like girl what is <laughs> what, that I don't what, know. what did you do <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like low-key embarrassed I'm like, mm -hmm. but you know what I have an amazing um family unit and um partner that you know can you know like I think my parent my grandma like let me go and create and as well as my brother but then sometimes you got to hold back like okay now it's getting a little bit too you know avant-garde or creative don't lose sight of your your foundation and what is your foundation? I can't tell you that, but it's based upon your own. What is, is it? Everybody uh -oh. can determine their own. Yeah, yeah, that is not me, girl. I cannot tell you that, but <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mono. I think, have I been the longest talk story session right no, now? No, actually, the longest was Keho yesterday. We were so like into the conversation. We didn't want to stop until, until the time I say, hey, Keho, I really have to go because I have class. <laughs> And well, okay. good news, my class isn't until like um, four hours. So what's good? <laughs> no, kidding, actually, everyone. actually, not to break the thing, but in about 15 minutes, I have a meeting with uh, Tefari Tohiti Nui. Okay, so I'm not going to argue to with that before, one. I had to leave before. Uh, I only have 15 minutes. But oh my gosh, I'm enjoying this conversation. There's so much. And that's why I like to have the, the, the conversation with you. And I'm so thankful I, I don't live too far from you. <laughs> Uh, I know. I was yes. gonna come over with Yay. my coffee. <laughs> I was kidding. We're, we're pretty much neighbors, but um, yeah, everything you have you said it's just like it's it, it's so you talk by experience. Honestly, that that's that's really that it's whatever comes out of your mouth is it's really because you lived it, and and I love it and I understand what you're saying. And uh, yeah, and about Mika, oh my gosh, I want to steal her every day because she she is such a like her presence, Knowledgeable, like just being yeah. with, right by her, like she had j just that positive energy. And mm. you feel that passion that she has, and not only passion, but love for her own Fenua. And this is contagious because when I see that in her, I feel it like for myself. And that's why when you say, keep on going, keep on like seeking for it, learn for, for it. I myself, even if I'm a Tahitian, I still learn. I still, I, I don't stop. I try my best, for example, to spend time with my mom, who was born and raised in Reatea, where I, I missed a lot of stuff in my childhood that she didn't. So I'm like taking advantage to, to grab that from her and say, can you remind me that mountain over there? Mm. Or can you remind me of this? And that's the connection that you're talking about. And it should be yeah. for everyone. It's not something that, yeah. okay, you got it you I, I I'm, I'm Tahitian that's it I am Tahitian and period no there's so much no, to, uh, <laughs> yeah to learn and, and to pursue you know and talking to our elders is the <laughs> is the best way because you know why they're so it's so um it's so like poly style well I think like to put a period like they just tell you straight up you know <laughs> like oh yeah definitely like, whatever but you know like when you are researching you're not granted all the answers you should never mm. be granted all the answers mm. you know it's like you know like the wise man who like answered your question back with a question um <laughs> but also because things aren't supposed to be just given to you like that and I think that yeah. that happens a lot 
<laughs> around the world were like, ah, I, I, but I want to Otea and to Aparima. And I'm like, but you like, don't even really, <laughs> like you were not even saying the correct step names and like you didn't, you know, know X, Y, and Z, the, the basics, the essentials. Yeah, so yeah. I think for, for me, um, just for the Oriteti community is, um, uh, actually I'm gonna gear more towards teachers. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm, I'm still learning. I have great examples ahead of me within my own family. So is, uh, is yes, going back and just observing and just kind of like being in the elements, you know, because like there's Polynesians are amazing. We, there's a, a different wind and a different rain for everything and a different moon phase. So a lot of times, you know, like just observing it, y you'll start to pick up on these, these things and these, these um, lessons that can't always be taught to you in a classroom or verbally. Yes, yes. It was, I agree. You know, or, or through a dance step, you know right. what I mean? And, and not that we're like sitting there writing notes because our language wasn't even supposed to be recorded like that anyway. So just simply being, I guess, um, and like I said, I know it's not the easiest to get to Tahiti, but there's so many resources and especially, you know, with, with a lot of all of your, um, <laughs> Moino, the things that you have, like the, these sessions, you drop so much knowledge. I know when we have our sessions there, you've answered so many questions and lessons that I was like, I have always wondered about this, <laughs> but I never knew I'm not a bugaboo. So I don't like meaning I'm not. I'm not the person that goes to Tahiti um, and then just like, oh, what's this legend? What's that legend? Oh, what is this basic step? Can you show me that, that move? Like, like um, <laughs> a lot of, most of my questions to be very transparent with everyone who's logged on right now, I don't really have questions about executing steps. I'm not really concerned about that. Um, I'm not sitting there trying to think of how to be creative. Honestly, just talking story and most of my things that I wonder and I think more now, you know, this too from our sessions is isn't about dance. It's like one of the most influential lessons we had when we talked about the party party. Yes. Do, you know what I mean? It's like and if you don't know what that is, then I encourage you to go join Polylingual and, and <laughs> find out. But it's those things that. Like, I love learning about the arioi, but I'm not really concerned about what exactly their dance look like. I want to know their lifestyle. You know what I mean? How yeah. do they live? Yeah. And I'm not concerned what were the emotions like, because we're all going to sit there and argue for days and days. But the fact that there was a sect of people, the arioi, and, and they were so dedicated, you know, for many different reasons. Uh, I'm, when we did the masters with the workshop with the masters, and then Steve, we talked about the PE law which is just, it's all just language to yes. me. That was like mind blowing that I've researched on my own, but to talk to uh, someone with, uh, with, you know, a wealth of knowledge about that. And if you don't know what this is, it's, these are things for me personally, it's Tiana, that I really gravitate towards. It's not like I'm fixed on dance and I'm fixed on drumming and I'm fixed on this. I'm actually a lot more fixed on the perspective, the values, the lifestyle and even the mannerisms. I rather observe Tahitian people, their mannerisms than to learn the Aparima they created. <laughs> I but love that's it. just well, me. Huh? That, that it, but th this is the way to go because you're going beyond that. And when at the time you understand that, you know, how, how it's done, how, how, how it works, this is where the, the dance actually comes out. It's the last stage. The dance always comes last. Totally. It's the expression of all of this, a story, a concept, uh, uh, whatever, a little, well, I live of Tahiti. So it's, the dance is the last stage, you know, and, and yeah. all, the, the problem is we've done like everything backwards, reserved by the dance yeah. and going further. And sometimes we don't even go further, we just go halfway. Now, but anyways, it's not, it's no, nobody to blame for that because maybe again, yeah. back in the day, we didn't understood that we could do that or of course. we didn't have the resources or we, we were never taught to do that. So I understand right. and that evolution, 
But really today, we have no more excuses. We, we do have mm-hmm. now that it's possible to have that connection with the people. It's possible. Even like if you can't go to Tahiti, let's just say not everybody can afford that. Come on, guys. Right. There's, there's the online access now. You know, it's <laughs> yeah. possible. It's possible. It's not like there's nothing, right? Resources oh, no, for the language. Now you have it. You have it. But it's, it's happening, but you have to take the step. You have to, and then, I'm sorry, my, my, my last thing, yeah. <laughs> I was like, damn, um, now you know why me and Kehal get along so well, huh? Um, <laughs> my, my last thing, though, is that you cannot equate um, your knowledge and your passion for dance mm. with the whole culture. It's, 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 and I don't say that as a bad thing, that should be exciting, because you cannot say, like, Oh, you know, like Ori Peti is my life, but you, you, we haven't really dived into the language of the Ori Peti, like you know what, what, you know, like the ebook would have to offer, not to like try to sell it, but <laughs> like we cannot just because we have great technique doesn't equal a passionate person of culture. Culture encompasses so much more. Yeah, and even is. the Heva, of course, you know, we have the the Himene the the categories and then we have you know the heiva di ma'i and the heiva tuaro um there's so many other elements of just the heiva but i know we always concentrate on the dance but outside of the heiva the culture is is there is it's so huge much it's more. huge there's so much more and i would love to see more interest in the mare if we if we're going to talk about you know culture and oh, dance the mare so is that... something hey tiana i want to challenge you in something man uh, and I think, I mean, I'm, I'm planning to do that. I wanted to do that with my students uh, in the future, but this is something that I want to challenge people that mm. I was going to speak in Tahitian right now. See how much the mother is like, oh, it's almost like it's possessing me. Anyways, what I was saying is we, it, I will encourage people or challenge people to go to the mare tapu tapu atea. It's a must because, uh, I mean, I, and I, I, I say that over and over because that's where my, my ancestors are from. I know right. I'm proud of it and I'm not tired to say about it, but beside As this, you you know, I'll leave my mm. family out of the game. Um, I went in 2018 and I'm telling you guys, it, it's, it's something to do. And it's something to, because I know when we go to Tahiti, we have the Mare Arahu Rahu. Okay, that, that's amazing. And, and, and it's, it's as sacred as, you know, it is. But what I'm saying is the journey to Tapu Tapu Atea is even more meaningful, especially if we are Polynesian. Because oh, this is where you everything have to started. You have to go. And this is why hope. Ho'i Mai Tapu Tapu Atea. Exactly. It's, it's more than just that. It's more than just uh, dance for sure and like you said Moino, it's the center it's the center for for you know Polynesians and and honestly when you go you see you know I was I, I when I went and there are so many um because I'm you know like my my father's from Samoa my grandmother's from American Samoa um when I went, there was so much Samoan presence there because we know, you know what I mean? Yes. Like it's it's the fanora uh, afenua. It's this exactly. Is, yeah, and I don't. There's no words. There's no there's words. No That's words why I love because, dancing. Yeah, even me. Like when I went back in 2018, it really gave me a lot of chills. Huh? Uh, that mm. place, but even though I've been there my my whole life, so many times I passed there. Like when I was a kid, I didn't pay attention, but it became meaningful as I grew. But what I'm saying is, uh, the people from Reate has a different mindset as the people from Tahiti. I can tell you that already. Mm. <laughs> they they mo- most of the elders they they consider the Polynesians their family more than than how we conceive in Tahiti. Uh, but there's a lot of association. Just everybody knows right now. There's a lot of association and you can find them and I can, I will be gladly to give them their contact um, in, uh, ta, in uh, Tapu Tapu Atea or in Reatea Island where mm. these, these are cultural association, similar as like uh, the, the association uh, Haururu in, in Papin O. And there's a mm. lot of them where, who are, will be gladly to connect with the outside world because as of now, they are connecting with a lot of students from different universities of 
from everywhere, from Hawaii, from, from New Zealand. There's a lot of Maori who are going to Tapu Tapu Atia. And I as think Ori should. Tai Chi dance group should, should, should take that opportunity as well to experience that. Can I say one thing also? Yes. Um, definitely, it's the birthplace. It's a birthplace of our, our existence. It's where the canoes, this is where they, all the canoes go back. <clears throat> And it, man, there's like so much that could be said. Just yeah. um, ask our expert voyagers. Um, they'll tell you. It's impossible to not go. Um, and also, though, you know, when we go to sacred places for us um, dance, Ori Teiti practitioners, um, please make sure we do diligence and we, we, we really research and be respectful of this space, of any sacred space. Um, and I've learned this the hard way too and knowing what you can do and what you should do. <laughs> just because you can doesn't mean you should. When you come to Tapuatea, ta even if you have a great intention, sometimes it's you don't need to come and do your, your 45 minute set from your recital. It doesn't make <laughs> sense. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah. So knowing these spaces and these relationships and with the time and the space and even the people I think this is very important. I think it is. It this is, is important. This is our Polynesian customs and 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 um almost like um your uh I don't know the word for this uh, <laughs> like the, your your elders the stratification knowing who these cultural leaders are knowing how to address them knowing sometimes you don't address them you know like um I think that that's very important too because this isn't a show this is culture you're practicing culture yes. it's like when I tell the kids at, at practice. I don't care if you're someone or not. When you walk in front of someone, you to low, you have to say that. Like it's something very small, but this goes into culture, not yeah. just, just yeah. Dance. This is why I suggest you go with associate. You know those associations uh, or those organizations. It's important because they know they know the protocols. They know they know mm. how it's done. Uh, instead of just going like that, right? But anyways, as of now, the Ministry of Culture they did a, a, such a great job to maintain this spot and. And um, and not only them, but even the people of Reiatea Island. And mm. so, yeah, I, I definitely invite everybody, especially, I'm not saying everybody can go, but uh, Polynesians, I know by blood, it will be such a, a meaningful journey to experience. So that's why I I totally in, encourage people to, to you know, take that, that journey. Yes. My eyes are getting watery when you, when you say that. <laughs> No, it's true yeah. because even me, my myself, I, I when I, I, I went there physically, let me tell you, I had chills the entire time. Uh, like we, you know, remember the orero, uh, mm. and, and it, it was true, and I had no idea what was happening, and I was like, it's not even cold. Usually, you know, you get that those chills when it's cold, but I had that, and and and. I, I couldn't understand what it was, but what I'm saying is, I, I felt like that place so magical, and and so that's why I say, oh my gosh, I, I now my my next step is to bring my family, but I want my students to experience that as well, and that's why I'm inviting uh, Oriteti group groups, and maybe Nono Sina will go, <laughs> and I'll go too. <laughs> so, oh, you uh, we more like we go with you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, no, Diana, definitely. it was such a great discussion. I have to go because uh, I have a meeting with Te Farito Hitini right now for the Hura Tapairu uh, next oh. year. But uh, uh, it was Manihini? such a... <laughs> huh? What is it? I said, uh, and uh, Manihini? No, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yes. And Manihini as well. So we're, we're like, I'm so excited about this meeting anyways. Uh, I think st st things are starting to get uh, back to normal. So oh, good. excited, hey, yes. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but thank no, you so thank much, you. Tiana. I really appreciate this. This uh, we can talk for hours, right? There's so much to share, and maybe maybe we should have those those meetings again. It's such a success. A lot of people are, are saying like, "Hey, we have we need more. We want to hear more from from these amazing leaders like you." And uh, yeah, so you know, I'll, I'll think of something. But I think it, it, it's important because people want to hear that because most of the time. There's that connection when we around the Oditeti competitions or, you know, that's the only time we get together, but we never mm. really get together to talk. 
and and right, have a conversation. Right. Mm. That's why I, I think it was uh, important to have that. But I thank you so much, uh, Tiana, for, for that time. And I love you. I appreciate you. Oh, I love no, Mika and everybody. And uh, um, to the next meeting. <laughs> I know. No, thank you, Maruduro, and everyone who logged on. <laughs> Sorry, I talk a lot, but. No, it was, it no, was good. It was so great. Thank you so much for sharing all this. All right, everybody. Oh my gosh, I, I, there's so many messages. I'm not sure if you're seeing Tiana. There's so many people. Love you, Auntie Rose. Who, Hi, Auntie. Who are commenting, <laughs> commenting here. Oh, goodness. I know. Isa, muchas gracias. <laughs> oh, love it. From everywhere. Uh, yeah. US, Mexico, Tahiti, France, Tahiti. Sa um, Samoa. Yeah. From Hawaii. All, all, okay. From oh, yeah, Hawaii as well. I have plenty of people from Hawaii. Chief 808. I live on Oahu now too, so hit me up, peeps. <laughs> she has her food oh, there, hello. guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. Thank you so much. I have to go, everyone. Thank you, Mono. Nana. Okay, Nana.